In a patient with lung cancer, their tumour can grow from one cell to as many as a trillion spread across the whole body, and genetically, each of these cells will be slightly different. This means that one biopsy won't give us a complete picture of the whole tumour or its surrounding microenvironments. It also makes developing treatments very difficult because different cells within a tumour may be geographically separated and can evolve to become resistant or spread to other parts of the body. With TracerX, we're trying to address these problems by tracking lung cancer evolution in real time and in unprecedented detail. This decade-long, multi-million pound project is funded by Cancer Research UK. Thanks to hundreds of lung cancer patients and a network of researchers from across the United Kingdom, we're studying how tumours evolve from diagnosis through to relapse over time by mapping the differences between individual cancer cells. TracerX is transforming our understanding of lung cancer. For example, looking at levels of gene expression in tumour cells, we're able to hone in on a set of 23 genes that are predictive of patient outcomes and are expressed similarly across an individual patient's tumour, such that it doesn't matter where you put the biopsy needle. We use these genes to develop a biomarker called Oracle. We hope it could be used as a test to give patients a more accurate prognosis and help doctors make better treatment decisions. TracerX has also allowed us to uncover how the body's immune system actually shapes tumour evolution over space and time. For example, we've discovered that cancer cells are selected during cancer evolution, harbouring different mechanisms unique to individual tumour regions depending on the level of immune activity in those tumour regions. And we've used TracerX to find a subset of clinically relevant immune T cells, which we know can limit the growth of tumours. These are T immune cells with receptors that we think are tumour specific, but which are also present in multiple tumour regions. If we can identify and track these cells in blood, we could use them to non-invasively monitor T cell responses, tumour relapse, and even develop new treatments. No one has looked at lung cancer in this level of detail before, and actually this research is based only on the data from the first 100 patients recruited into TracerX. So this is just the beginning and we're incredibly excited about what's to come from the next 750 patients recruited into TracerX.